Rosanna, recently moved into a new apartment in France. Unfortunately, she discovered that she had been deceived. The apartment was haunted. Just a few days after moving in, she began experiencing numerous unsettling and unexplainable occurrences, which have only intensified over time. One day, while she was eating yogurt at the table, she suddenly heard something truly horrifying. Watch carefully. Disturbing breathing sounds can be heard coming from the fireplace, yet there's nothing visible there. She later makes a follow-up video to address skeptics, explaining that the device next to the fireplace is not a speaker, but her internet live box, which is the only thing plugged into the power source. The incident scared her so much that she had to stay in a hotel for a few days before returning home. Upon her return, she had priests come to bless the house and see if they could help. Unfortunately, their efforts only made things worse. Rosanna felt the atmosphere in her home grow increasingly oppressive. Dishes began to break on their own, doors slammed violently, and a smell of rotting flesh permeated parts of the house. On another day, she started hearing banging on the walls and began recording. This is what she captured. The activity has become more frequent since the priests visited, leaving her even more uncertain about what to do. One late night, she captures this.
a disturbing voice tells her to come, and this is the first time she has heard it speak. As the situation continues to deteriorate, it's clear that it won't be the last time she encounters this voice. A YouTuber named Isaac Savage, based in New York, has recently started uploading videos. In a recent upload, he ventured to explore an abandoned mental asylum known as Letchworth Mental Hospital. Established in 1911 to care for physically and mentally disabled individuals. Rumors abound about dangerous and experimental procedures conducted on patients, resulting in numerous deaths over the years. Accompanied by a friend, they managed to gain entry and began casually exploring the corridors with a light hearted demeanor. Hola, housekeeping. <laughs> This must have been like some kitchen. There's lockers here. This looks like some cafeteria or something. But yeah, I'm, f I'm really feeling the heebie-jeebies here. But when they separated, something unusual occurred near Isaac. The sound of the door closing echoed from somewhere behind Isaac, prompting him to sprint for the stairs. Gathering his courage, he pressed on with his exploration, only to encounter something truly terrifying. the hall directly ahead of him, a dark figure stood ominously. This unsettling silhouette remained motionless as Isaac quickly captured it on camera. This chilling sight prompted him to rush downstairs. Unfortunately, what he captured next sent shivers down his spine. Someone's above us. Someone is above us. Gabe! Gabe! <laughs> Alone in the dark, a terrifying scream echoed through the hallway. This chilling, movie-like scream was enough to make Isaac bolt in fear for his life. Whether it was something supernatural or a real person, either scenario would have me screaming like a terrified child. An ambulance driver is seen standing far from his vehicle, visibly terrified. He explains that he had to pull over immediately because something inexplicable happened. According to him, while driving back to base, he suddenly noticed something unusual in the back of the ambulance. Realizing what it was, he stopped the vehicle and exited in a state of panic. Due to a lack of parking space, he parked the ambulance in an alleyway, but he cannot seem to look away from it, even from a distance. It's evident that whatever occurred has left him deeply shaken. The following footage is from his camera. Please take a look. All right, so I'm not sure how to um how to talk about this, but well, first of all, I've been an EMT just for a little bit, and like I ain't never experienced nothing like this. So, so as we driving back to base, I swear I seen a face in the rearview mirror. Like, for I need to turn this engine off though, cause like we're gonna be stranded out here. Yeah, yeah. Oh, shit. Thank you. I'm not trying to go back here.
I don't know if you see it, but can can y'all see that back door? Like it just, oh shit, like it just flew open. Like can you oh, oh. no? Nah, what the? Can y'all see it? Nah, hell no. Nah. Fuck that. Nah. It's understandable why the EMT was terrified at the thought of returning to the ambulance. It seems that something was inside it. While we don't see the face that the EMT claims to have seen earlier, we do observe a shadowy figure moving back and forth, appearing to dart from side to side as if trapped. The EMT driver suspects that this entity might have been responsible for the cabinet door swinging open by itself, which he says was the source of the loud thump heard inside. However, the mysterious face he saw remains unexplained. Some speculate that it could have been the spirit of someone who died inside the ambulance. While many entertain this theory, others remain uncertain about what it could have been. Whether it's a ghost or something else, the EMT was relieved to have a colleague pick up the truck. To this day, the question of what exactly was inside the ambulance remains unanswered. The Canadian Paranormal Investigation Team, Walking Among Us, experienced disturbing encounter by one of their investigators at the historic SDG jail in Cornwall, Ontario, Canada. Many people lost their lives in this jail, some by hanging, others due to illness or violence. Additionally, many unclaimed bodies were buried directly on the property. Given its dark past, it's not surprising that the SDG jail is reputed to be highly haunted. During an overnight investigation, team member Krista found herself alone in a known paranormal hotspot in the lower levels of the jail. She encountered a chilling experience that the investigators cannot explain. My name's Krista. Can you please tell me your name? Is anyone coming around the corner? Yeah, What? Rafe? No, 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 stop, 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 stop. Ayo, Ayo, Ayo. We're coming. Rafe? Are you okay? That's not fucking funny. What happened? Krista is unsettled when she hears shuffling footsteps in the hallway nearby. She also hears a voice she believes to be that of fellow investigator Rafe. However, there's a significant issue. At that moment, Rafe is in a completely different part of the building, filming with another team of investigators. I probably won't even do the board. Nothing ever happens to me. I'm fine. Yeah, but it. maybe it will. Okay, fine. I'll sit, sit there. Sit for like 20 seconds. Okay, See if fine, you hear fine. anything. I'm the same way, so I tend to just be behind the camera. Which is more fun. It is, it is. Krista is alone while team members Rafe, Kelly and James are conducting a separate investigation in another area of the jail. When Krista calls out, the camera of the other team members captures them, rushing to her location in real time. Is anyone coming around the corner? Yeah, I get it. What? Yeah, I get it. Rafe? We're coming. Rafe? Are you okay? That's not fucking funny. What happened? No one's there. What are you talking about? Don't play with me right now. He just ran. No, we're not all the way here. Yeah, yeah we're going, going to the fucking. So we were in the room through the ball, and he, he went up there. I went there. toward the kitchen to go he was up. I heard footsteps. No, 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 no. no. And then I was like, Hello, is that you? And it sounded like you going, get out of here. No, 
that was no, that wasn't he was with us. Oh, I hope that's on there. Why would you leave him? Can, can, can we take the footage? Or? Okay. You swear to God. I swear he was with us. Yes. You know I would not bring him. Yeah. And you, okay, well, hold on. It's all on video of us. How far that's true. Us to After reviewing the footage, the investigators think a spirit might have imitated Rafe's voice. You can watch the full investigation at the SDG jail on the YouTube channel Walking Among Us. A YouTuber named Novice Wildcamp has attracted a substantial following by posting frequent videos where he goes camping in various locations and shares his experiences. Most of the videos on his channel are entertaining and relaxing, but one stands out significantly. In this particular video, we watch as he sets out to the woods for his usual vlogging session. However, things don't go as expected on this day. The video includes a peculiar segment where a thermal camera captures something inexplicable. Take a look at this unsettling part of the footage. So this is the uh, infrared flare vision on my camera. You can see that's my hammock. There's my stove. That cool them ages ago. So I keep getting loads of mice and things dotted about. Nothing around there. Okay, so. There's two f***ing handprints. my torch on. That wasn't there two seconds ago. I swear that wasn't there. There's two. Fucking hand mark on there. As shown, the thermal camera detected two distinct handprints, which left the uploader both confused and terrified. Just a few minutes later, while attempting to relax and speak to the camera, the uploader is abruptly startled by an unfamiliar noise coming from a distance. It's weird, it's in the distance, it's not, it's not close. But it's like, you, you can definitely... I don't know if you heard. I don't know if you heard that. If I picked it up on the mic or not. That one sounded more like a wolf. But we haven't. I mean, we haven't got any wolves in this country. It could possibly be a dog. I don't know. I've never heard that. I've never heard anything like that. Whilst camping. I'm not in. That's just weird. The sound resembled a wolf's howl, but since there are no wolves in this country, it's likely a dog. The noise does have the distant quality of a wolf howling, yet the absence of wolves in the region rules that out. So, what could have been making that noise in the woods where this YouTuber was camping? Could it have been another type of animal? If so, do you think it was one that intended to scare him away? Share your thoughts in the comments. Martin Quintino from Uruguay noticed something unusual while he was in his car. Although his neighbors appeared normal during the day, every night, at precisely the same time, something very unsettling occurs. Bueno, gente, estoy grabando esto porque vemos esa sombra pasar hace rato. Me había pasado la semana pasada y nadie me creía. Miren, pasa, eso no es una persona. Eso no es una persona, discúlpenme. Ay, la coche, la cobra. Entró algo la panza, boludo. Discúlpenme, pero eso no es una persona. La otra vez pasaba mucho más rápido que ahora. 
Ahora va lento. Yo no puedo creer vos. ¿Vieron cómo pasa? No, no, muy fuerte vos. Ay. At approximately 3 a.m. each night, what appears to be a shadow appears in the window, as if someone is moving from one end of the room to the other. While this might seem relatively harmless, albeit unusual, what truly unsettles Martin is the movement of the shadow. There is something distinctly unsettling about its motion, and the following clip might provide some insight into why. Miren, gente, acabo de llegar a casa. Miren, tengo la moto acá afuera y la veo ahí. Hoy sí va más rápido, ¿vieron? No, no, es muy fuerte esto. Bro. No me ven el cagazo que me pega esto. Y ahí está la cortina más abierta. Y no hay nadie en el baño porque, mira, la lucecita está apagada la del baño. No, no. Eso es un fantasma. Seeing the shadow move so quickly convinces Martin that something unusual is happening in his neighbor's house. Following the advice of his trusted advisors, Martin decides to speak with the neighbors about it. However, this is when things become significantly more frightening. Bueno, gente, estaba decidido a ir a cruzar para hablar con la dueña, pero <laughs> me encuentro que está cerrada la verdulería. Será una señal que dicen ustedes. Miren que esto es una esquina removida de día. Hoy no se ve nada y, y está todo apagado y cerraron la, la reja. No sé qué pasó. Every time Martin checks his neighbor's apartment, everything is locked and the place is dark. He monitors the building for a while, but there is no sign of activity leading him to believe that no one is home. However, like clockwork, the same events occur again at 3 a.m. Bueno, gente, miren. Está todo cerrado. No hay movimiento ninguno. Tienen la luz prendida todavía del comercio. Se ve que están ahí todavía. No se ve nada. Así que vamos a ver más tarde, a ver qué se ve. bastante quieta la esquina hoy como que mi brazón está como pero estará patinando está como con su vez ahí pasó saltó no sé qué hizo ah no 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 eso está muy rápido vamos Luca vamos ahí No me empuje, está corriendo. Pero no parece que se, que se mueva. Ay, me da miedo lo que pasa ir hasta ahí. ¡Soltame! Bueno, estoy al lado de la casa. No se ve que haya nadie. Ahí pasó algo arriba también. Pasó algo arriba, sí. Pero hoy también pasó algo. Yo estaba haciendo un vivo y pasó. No, a mí me da terror cruzar ahí. Además, cuando cruzas la calle te da como una sensación rara en el cuerpo, porque no se escuchan pasos, no nada. Bueno, gente. Acá estoy filmando, vieron cómo queda esto, todavía no cerró ahí. No hay nada, no se ve nada, está todo quieto. La ventana de arriba no hay luz, en ese que pasó también eh, en el otro video. No hay luz en esa ventana. 
y no sé qué pasa acá, pero bueno. Esto es un avance, después, porque yo ahora tengo que salir, pero después voy a venir a grabar de nuevo. Quizá después de las 12 llegue a casa y grabo un video. This unsettling phenomenon is undeniably unusual, and it may be surprising to learn that what Martin captured on camera isn't an isolated event. What are your thoughts on this eerie occurrence? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below.